Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 5th, 2026. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Always starting out here looking at our sun, big filaments swirling around both the north and south polar regions on the sun, showing time-lapse Im imagery of the last 24 hours. That was 304 angstroms darkened region here showing the coronal hole which will be affecting us over the next few days and as well active sunspot region coming in in the bottom left definitely something to keep an eye on lots of activity on the back side of the sun as well and when you look at the last go three imagery you can see it flashing it's lots of activity all these images brought to you by goes 19 satellite mixed here with daily events worldwide here's a look at the sunspots Right now, we have three outgoing, four outgoing, and two incoming. These two right here, though, have grown immensely over the last 24 hours. We're going to be keeping an eye on those. Current space weather conditions, solar winds are coming in at 385 kilometers per second. That is more like an average solar wind speed. Looking at the space weather spiral here, next solar storm expected January 6th into 7th and into the eighth as well bottom diagram showing the plasma density so we will be hit by the coronal hole wind stream around the same time here's a look now at the aurora forecast for the next couple of hours no major geomagnetic event expected but visibility will be high through russia and parts of eastern russia tonight with the end of this most recent solar event our sun's been pretty quiet so far for January 2026. Having a look now at LASCO 3 showing cosmic energies leaving our sun. You can see on the left-hand, right-hand side, those flashes. That's what I was talking about. There's some activity on the back side here. And we're getting some resonance through the satellite feed here and the animation depictions. Big coronal mass ejection from the most recent plasma filament taking off from the southern hemisphere. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. USGS reporting just under 200 still. It's gone quiet. Deepest earthquake, Batang, Indonesia, 530 kilometer depth. That's a pretty rare place for such a deep earthquake. Largest being the 5.7 south of Africa. Notable deep earthquakes, Tonga region, 3.3 there. At... Uh, Mauna Loa volcano, not Kilauea, as well, 3.3 there, Utah. Across Central America, unrest continues, 4.3 towards the Riviera Plate and Scotia Plate into the South Sandwich Islands. Seismicity increases. Prince Edward Island region, 5.7 south of the African Plate. Last 24 hours. Showing low numbers, USGS waiting. Something is brewing, my friends and family. Mark my words, over the next 24 hours. Heads up, have a plan, be aware and prepared. That's what this is all about. Hashtag no fear here, just aware and prepared. This is a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. Largest being the 6.5 to hit Mexico, deepest being a 6.5. 100 kilometer depth reported just yesterday in Fiji region. Going to be watching the North Atlantic and up into Eurasia and the African plate over the next 48 hours. Now, I'm not a fortune teller and I'm not a master earthquake predictor either, but I do do forecasts. And when I'm watching closely, when I put out these warnings, the earthquakes come. So have a plan. Much love, everybody. And please like and share today. Let's have a look at the air quality forecast. Sulfur dioxide emissions, big eruption at Fuego and as well Popopacatitl over the last couple days, inundating all of Mexico and the Gulf states with some pretty nasty air quality. And as well eruptions at New Caledonia, towards Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, and all through China. 
Overlooking the Atlantic, no new eruptions to report, but notable plumes building and coming out of the Caribbean. Quick browse now at the weather models for the next 7 to 10 days forecast. Brought to you by Windy.com. Pretty big systems will be affecting Greenland and Iceland, as well as Atlantic provinces of Canada, central United States into Ontario, and of course, all of Europe over the next little while here. Big low pressure systems and very strong winds associated with these systems over the next little bit. And it's going to be continuing for days. You might see a lot of snow through Norway and Finland, Greenland, and as well, Newfoundland. Long-range forecast, big winter storm developing for western parts of the United States. So stay tuned as these forecasts can change quickly. Stay tuned, stay subscribed, hit your notifications. Having a look now at the other side of the world, Africa, Eurasia. Australia, New Zealand, big low pressure system affecting Queensland, still forecast over the next few days. Eventually, it will scoot off land and head towards New Zealand. And as well, the tip of South Africa could see a system develop heading towards Madagascar. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, strong systems roaring across the North Pacific very strong winds, most likely heavy snowfall all through southern shorelines of Alaska and as well western shorelines of British Columbia. All through the Aleutian Islands, multiple systems coming through and they're going to be bringing a lot of snow. And as well, some pretty warm temperatures as well. Big high pressure ridge over the East Pacific. Very interesting times. Wanted to share here with you as well, the wind models and wind gusts, as we could see wind gusts coming into Alaska up to 80 to 90 kilometers per hour. Long range forecast showing some pretty strong systems coming through. And eventually the high pressure ridge will break down and send these systems roaring across Canada. We've still got about at least six weeks left of winter, so stay tuned because the polar vortex has still got some extreme cold temperatures for us and most likely some record blizzard-like conditions across the northern hemisphere. Stay tuned. This is just the beginning. We had quite the start in early winter, before winter even started here in the northern hemisphere love to see how you all are doing in the south tomorrow we'll get a little more focused on the southern hemisphere and we'll also show the upper level winds showing the polar vortex for both hemispheres much love everybody hope you enjoyed the show stay safe and healthy aware and prepared good night